G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and this video is the showcase and the announcement for the winners to the March 2016 Challenge of the Month and the theme of the Challenge of the Month was Wandering Season, a traditional only Challenge of the Month where people were required to create a depiction of a personified season inside the environment of a different season. And the creativity of the entries to this month's Challenge of the Month has blown me away, let alone the fact that we haven't had any less entries to this Challenge of the Month than other challenges, which sort of surprised me, to be honest, because uh, a lot of the entries, usually the Challenge of the Month, are digital. So I wondered if there would be less entries, but no, there were still almost 700 entries, which is amazing. So thank you all so much for participating. And that being said, while I can't showcase and highlight everyone in this video that I want to because of time constraints. I highly encourage you all to go check out the slideshow, which you can see on the uh, screen and in the description, which is a slideshow highlighting every single entry that I got. I'm sorry if I missed anyone, but I try really hard every month to make sure everybody gets in that slideshow and I really recommend you go check it out. The variety of the ways that people have depicted this theme has been so cool and some of these pieces have been really positive and interesting and happy and some other pieces have been really heartbreaking or emotional and it's really interesting to see how different people have created an aesthetic around that theme. So congratulations to everyone first and foremost who has participated. I hope you all enjoyed yourself and enjoyed challenging yourself for this month's challenge. That being said we're going to jump now into the showcase for some of the entries that really stood out to me for this challenge of the month. We start with a piece by Kaylee called From Endings to Beginnings. It's really interesting how they've shown autumn in the spring season uh, with the, uh, that transition in the middle of the screen, sort of showing the same environment in both settings. The amazingly talented Tara Graphica created a piece called Summer Breeze, which has summer snowboarding through winter. I really like the style of the character and it's a really nice mix of colors too on the character's skin and uh, the textures throughout the piece are really nice. Lady Ragnarok 67 painted the incoming storm and we have autumn with winter setting in. The colors in this piece are very strong as is the style and the silhouette of the piece as well. Denisul created a piece called Cyclical Time. The strength of color in this piece is fantastic, really solid throughout and I really like the, the sense of tranquility that this piece conveys. Cortexafan7 created a piece called Before the Last Leaf Falls and it's a really nice depiction showing autumn sitting in a tree as winter sets in with a single leaf on the tree. It's a really nice way of communicating that feigning uh, autumn feel as winter sets in. Shiguchi painted Diva Vesna, I think I pronounced that, I'm sorry if I pronounced it bad, but uh, the detail in this piece is stunning. I really like the patterns in the piece, the textures created through the lines in the piece and the way that wherever the color is, it's very strong and solid and the gradients between the green and the pink of the dress or the red and the yellow and the sunset behind her, it's all extremely smooth and very well created. Ninjala created a piece called Claws of Ice and there have been loads of uh, depictions of autumn or summer or or spring in a winter environment and this is one of the few with a winter character in a peaceful summer or, or a spring environment uh, with a looming or scary effect that they bring into the environment. So it's a really nice uh, depiction there. I really like the skeletal aesthetic of the character and the way that the white pen has been used in the mid-tone paper. Yuki Forever JM painted a piece called The Blossoms Are Blooming. I especially like the mix of the blues and the greens on the grass under the shade of the tree and that really nice soft pink. Uh, in that blossoming tree. Artistic Journey created a personified autumn in the middle of winter. I love the mix of colors in the hair and the way that aesthetic carries across as it's surrounded by winter. So it's a really nice mix of colors there, especially with the highlights with the white. Adrielli says, created a piece called Winter in Autumn. Once again, really solid colors and effective use of white and uh, silhouette. Susie Squid Ink created a piece called Spring Waits It Out. And I really like the way this piece is framed and that uh, sense that we have of feeling sheltered or like we're hibernating from that winter storm. 
Music Freak 8800 created a piece called Winter is Coming, where we have winter imposing itself in the fading autumn season. The pose is strong, the cloth and the hair have a really nice flowing feel to them, and the, the subtle uh, use of colours, though sparing, are very effective and have a, a very nice texture to them. The ever-talented Alessandro created a piece called Lady Summer, and I love the way that not only the material is painted, but the saturation of the oranges and warm colours of this character really punch out in the middle of a black and white winter environment. So it's a very effective use of colours and contrast in this piece. Zool85 painted Spring Awakens. Once again a very minimalistic environment but the way that the strong colours have been used on the character are very pretty and I really like the tones and colours mixed in on this spring character and the way that that pose creates a really nice feeling. Aphix11 created a piece called Spring in Autumn where we see spring leaping around in the autumn leaves. This piece has a very impressive angle looking down on the spring leaping around. The way the piece is composed is very impressive as well. We get a great sense of distance with the squirrel and the trees in the foreground both helping to frame the image and create a very strong sense of depth with the winding path leading all the way into the background and such a strong pose and silhouette in the character that's leaping around as well. So fantastic work there. And Sketch with Tiff created a piece called Moss Girl. Really nice gradient in the textures of this character. I love the way the colour feels so solid and that it all jumps and punches out from the half tone paper in a really strong way. Now we arrive to the finalists and the runner up and winner of the beginner category. So the finalists were all uh, a part of the pool of, of pieces that I was selecting from to pick the, the winner and the runner up. Unfortunately, of course, there can only be one winner and one runner up to each category, but I like to show the whole pool of finalists so everyone knows uh, what the awesome entries were that I was choosing between and also so the people who made the cut as finalists can receive that extra boost. This piece by Quan Lane is called Sleeping Autumn. I really like that feeling of hibernating in this piece and uh, that aesthetic we get of being enclosed in and away from the cold. Madison Bug's depiction of winter's struggle in the middle of summer is extremely well punctuated by the strong gradients in the background in the desert. The pose of the character is strong and the emotion conveyed is strong. So it's a really nice mixture of elements here creating an overall effective piece. Demind is also depicted autumn in the middle of winter. I believe this piece uses simplicity very effectively. Really nice use of texture in the background to help frame the autumn character. Also the contrast between the desaturated environment and the subtle waning warmth of autumn as winter sets in and uh, the expression here has and the emotion sort of holding on to the last of what he can of in himself as winter sets in is extremely effective. Terancid who created a piece called Autumn in Winter which also depicts Autumn in Winter but in a bit of a different way and in the sense that Autumn is entering winter willingly and I really like the way that where this character Autumn has walked or touched uh, the the uh, season of autumn itself has followed her so the the ground creating an autumn color and the tree itself growing autumn leaves as she looks down to the city below. Blue Sundance created a piece called Spring Steps into Autumn, a childlike figure looking as if through a window at autumn. I love the contrast between the really warm colors of autumn and those bright uh, spring colors of the little girl. And the runner up goes to artist Tom Tom Meow with a piece called A Good Place for a Different Boy. I love the detail in the, the child who is personified uh, from winter and uh, the way that their aesthetic mixes into the summer or spring aesthetic that they're in. I love the use of the paint medium and uh, can tell that a lot of work has gone into it, especially from their in progress images. So this artist has put in a lot of effort and is well deserving recipient of the runner up prize. And as the runner up winner of the beginner category, you will be receiving an item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. Next we have the winner of the beginner category and the winner is Mera Drake with a piece called Spring is Coming. This piece is filled with some really vibrant vibrant colours and textures. The spring character has some really lovely textures and details through the piece and the way that it all mixes together is really quite nice. The artist has also put in a lot of effort and made a lot of progress in their entry and is a well deserving winner of the first prize of the beginning category and as the first prize winner of the beginning category you will be receiving a three month membership on the Creative Cloud which gives you access to all of Adobe's awesome 
some programs and products and apps, as well as a copy of a signed book by author Christopher Hart and a Stillman and Byrne Epsilon series 5.5 by 8.5 sketchbook with the first page of the sketchbook drawn on and signed by me and an item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. So now we have arrived to the pool of finalists and the winner and the runner up to the pool of finalists. This is as always an extremely difficult task for me to uh, pick from these amazing entries and just select a couple that are gonna be the prize winners. But everyone in the pool of finalists will be receiving a free copy of my tutorial archive from the jazzastudios.com shop. The tutorial archive contains all of the reference files and links, lesson plans, uh, PDFs, JPEGs, Photoshop files, animation files, you name it, of every tutorial I've ever done on my YouTube channel, as well as some extra exclusive goodies. And on top of all that, the product itself is updated every year so that all of the people who have that product get uh, notified and are able to access the account and get a yearly update with all of the new uh, assets as part of the tutorial archive. Link Stowe created a piece called I Want to Last Forever where we can see winter melting as spring arrives. The emotion in the character and the depth in the eyes is gorgeous and the colours are vibrant as well as the details in the flowers and uh, the subtle differences in texture and, and uh, detail between the environment and the character of winter. Xavi 027 created a piece called Frozen Summer. The vibrance of the colours used and painted in this piece are astounding in the ambition of the textures in the water, uh, the asymmetrical composition and the way it's all laid out is absolutely astounding and something that the artist should be very proud of. Lee Ecupedi created a piece called First Day of Winter. This piece has a very straight on sort of composition where we can see the immediacy of the scene in front of us as winter enters autumn and touches the first tree with winter. I really love how the autumn leaves are painted and also how strong that winter character cuts through the warmth of the winter leaves and colors. So really nice use of textures, simplistic use of the trees and shapes of the forest, but it's all uh, really well conveyed and comes together in a really charming storybook aesthetic. Spoof X3 painted their Wandering Season entry on a part of a trunk of a tree, which is a very clever way to go about it. And as such has also created some interesting textures throughout the piece that come from the trunk of the tree itself. That aside, there's such a nice warmth uh, and strong use of lighting and colors in the piece and also makes the greens and lighter, more uh, cold colors on the spring character stand out really nicely. Dajko created a piece called Unexpectedly. And of all of the pieces in this challenge of the month, this piece captured an immediate emotion in a very intense way. And it's really impressive how immediate that sense is. It's also astounding to me that the droplets on the paper look like um, droplets on a lens of a camera looking through to the scene. And the intensity of the difference between the cold winter colors and the warm colors of spring are just absolutely gorgeous and really captivating. Michelle Lappin's entry is composed in a really different and pretty way with our wandering summer or spring season in the middle of a uh, dark and dreary winter alley. The details of the piece are exceptional and the girl in particular and the flowers are really well created and represented through this piece. And the winner of the runner-up prize goes to Fevia with a piece called Are You Still Cold? This piece has an amazing charm to it, a wonderful aesthetic and use of textures, the desaturated colors which help communicate the cold tone to the piece, yet at the same time there's such a warmth that's communicated. We really get that feeling of being looked after and held close and uh, warm warmed by these creatures and these the, the cloth in the environment. An amazing use of colors, mixed of textures, and uh, a nice contrast between uh, areas of detail and areas of nice uh, simplicity. So congratulations to our open category runner-up. You'll be receiving a copy of the book 21 Draw, which is a really cool art compilation book, as well as a brand new Stillman and Byrne Epsilon Series 9x12 sketchbook. With the first page drawn on and signed by me and an item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. Finally, we arrive 
off to the first prize winner of the open category of the challenge of the month, an amazing piece by artist Torard H called Wake Up. This piece gets so much right and I actually had to delve into their work in progress images to make sure that the piece wasn't digitally enhanced, but they quite clearly show their steps uh, in creating the image and the techniques that they used are absolutely fantastic and the way that it creates such depth and contrast is astounding and beyond that the the way the image is composed the details and the way the poses hold such strength the way the character is mixing with the environment so effectively it's all absolutely wonderful and astounding great use of colors really nice uh, subtle but powerful use use of emotion in the piece, really nice use of cold colours to create that feeling of freezing with just a hint of glimmering warmth showing the feigning life in this summer or spring character in the winter's uh, environment. So an amazing piece there, well deserving winner of our first prize and as the winner you will be the recipient of one year for free on the Adobe Creative Cloud giving you access to all of their amazing programs, in particular my favourites are Photoshop, Animate CC and Premiere Pro, but there are dozens more really robust and also simple and effective other apps and programs that you can use for your creative means. So I hope you enjoy those. And on top of that, to help boost your digital creativity, Wacom will be providing you with a medium Wacom Intuos Pro tablet, an amazing high quality professional grade uh, digital tablet, which will allow you to create some awesome digital artwork. The device has loads of features it's really high quality. I can't recommend Wacom and their products enough, so definitely go check them out with the link on the screen and in the description. And finally, you'll be receiving an item of your choosing from the jazzastudios.com shop. I want to thank our sponsors for being amazing. I am so grateful that they are all putting so much into the challenge of the month. I can't recommend them all enough. Make sure to go check them out. There are links on the screen and in the description. I can't recommend them all enough. And the reason that they are sponsors is because I have gone to them and said, be a part of this because I value uh, what they produce and really uh, I'm grateful that they are bringing their wonderful products and programs to you so thank you to our sponsors so there we go they are all of the prizes and prize winners if you were announced as a finalist in the open category or a runner-up or winner in the beginner or open category make sure to go check your new grounds inbox which is where i will have messaged you and uh, told you how to claim your prizes that being said thank you everyone for participating i'm as always blown away by the amazing talent and creativity that uh, everyone has brought to the table this challenge of the month. I will also mention that I love you all dearly, but please, please stop asking me when the winners will be announced and when the next challenge of the month will be announced. You can reliably know that the winners will be announced at the end of a month and the next challenge of the month will be announced at the start of the month. So yes, um, if there isn't a challenge of the month or if anything has changed, I will have mentioned it in the most recent challenge of the month video. Uh, I, I'm only mentioning this because I haven't in a video yet and I get asked these questions a lot and it's kind of exhausting because it's fairly straightforward. But I love you with all my heart and I'm so glad that you guys are interested and enthusiastic and passionate about the Challenge of the Month and the announcement for the next Challenge of the Month will be this time next week. So thank you so much for joining and watching and participating and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you want to support my work and get some goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, digital brushes, video courses, and more. If you enjoyed this video, here's a link to some more content you might like. Draw with Jazza is 